Hello and welcome to YouTube video for this very, very low miles 2006 Winnebago Sightseer model 34A is an alpha. Got 9,800 miles, triple slide out. Just very, very nice South Carolina motorhome. We just got this on a trade. Uh, in this video presentation, we're gonna show you good, bad, and ugly, if anything, uh, bad and ugly, not much of it, but it is a used motorhome. Windshields are looking good, no cracks. Uh, workhorse chassis, that's an 8.1 liter, big block Chevy motor with an Allison automatic. That's a big, big plus on this Class A gas. Uh, Allison automatic is uh, the, one of the best transmission you can get. Windows are looking good condition, no fog. We've got a uh, 37 of 13, late 14, uh, like late 13, 14 tires. They're about three years old. Uh, no worries on tires all the way around. So they're not original. They're not 2006. They're 2013 late, uh, 37th week of 13. So it could be installed late of 13 or 14, beginning of 14. We've got electric awning, push to a button, it goes out, comes in. Let's look at some of the, uh, wow. Okay, gotta have this open before that opens up. Take a slide back and forth a little bit. Uh, that is your uh, LP gas, and you got a little bit of compartment on top, a little bit of a storage room there. More storage here. Very clean, take a look at it. No d lamp by the way, and uh, decal's in pretty good shape. Maybe just a little bit of tattering on the end, but they must have put a new uh, uh, decal. That's what it seems like, yes. It does, indeed. That's why decals are good. There's some minor cracks. Sights here, looks nice here. Oh, I got an outside plug. Should be outside entertainment, but take a look at, look at all my pictures, and we'll verify that. So decals look new. Uh, those are old decals on the back to tatter up. More storage. Well, that is not a storage. I take it back. That is your access to a uh, freshwater tank. It looks like about a 100 gallon tank. Uh, take a look at all my pictures and description. Don't take my word. It may be 90 gallon. I don't know. It's got an easy access to a uh, water pump. Should you ever have trouble? Six gallons. Hot water heater that runs on an electric, or maybe just a gas, or maybe electric. It's got a DSI, that stands for direct spark ignition. So you just flip a button in here inside the coach and it comes on. More storage. As you can see, there are jacks. It was on auto leveling. It needed to lift the driver's side, therefore passenger side jacks did not come down all the way. It's got electronic computerized. Uh, maybe one little scratch here or there, but overall in really good shape. There's some uh, outside storage. It's locked. You know what I'm going to do, Run. You can keep showing outside stuff. I'm going to grab a keys and open that up, see if there's a storage in there or not. Because uh, that outside entertainment was kind of one of the in the question. Let's see. Yes, there is outside entertainment. Got a CD player there. And here, oh wow, we got a spare tire. How about that? That's under the bed. Looks like it's never been down on the road. So that's a spare wheel. That's a, a lot of time it's unheard of it on a newer motorhomes nowadays. They don't, all right, let's see. By the way, we will have new batteries put on. The coach battery is a little weak. We're going to have a brand new marine batteries put on installed in this coach prior to delivery. So we've got a little bit of storage on the side right here. Come to the back, take a look at it. Very nice fiberglass body. We have a Reese Type 3 hitch located right here on the back of it. Seven normal seven pin hookup, 5,000 towing capacity. And uh, we'll get up on top in just a little bit here. Let's finish the outside. So on a driver's side here, pretty straight body. Got a 5,500 watt generator. Take a look at my pictures for the hours. I'm not sure what the hours are. He's got very, very low miles. So I will not be surprised to have very low hours. 
Uh, by the way, this is a trading motorhome, not a repossessed. In my almost all my video, I mentioned that. A repossessed motorhome, usually the definition of repossessed, if you can't make payments, you can't take care of it. It's just uh, simple logic. So repossessed motorhome, therefore, they have a good price tag, but you'll probably get some turds that you're going to work on it. Uh, some storage here. The bulb burned out. That's a gravity fill. You can fill the water up from here. See, decals, they must have been changed because they're in really good shape. Because I see a little edge of it. They were, I don't know the history of it because we bought it from another dealership. They took it on trade. All right, slide out topper looks in very, very good shape. No tear. You can usually see those uh, tear at the end in the corner. We've got some more storage here. And I like to mention here the, the air struts. They are holding it themselves. So they're in good shape. So they hold themselves, don't have to change those. All right, so we made a whole full circle here. 34 and a half feet long. Let's get up on top of the roof and show you solid fiberglass roof quality construction that Winnebago makes. And that makes this motorhome a little stand out from some other motorhomes with a rubber roof. Nothing wrong with a rubber roof, but I would rather have a fiberglass roof. Let's get up on top. All right, we're on top of the roof. One piece solid fiberglass roof. We've got a, in a bathroom area. I think that's a toilet area. We've got a max air floor uh, with a little vent cover. Uh, refrigerator vent looks good. Skylight looks really good. It's, the caulking is just dirty, but it's really good shape. No dry rod at cracks, another max air fan for kitchen area, both of the air conditioned shroud, they look good, no tears on them, uh, just no complaint here, just a really solid, solid, uh, even the front and the rear seals are in really good shape. Uh, you can see that uh, awning, it looks like it's a, late, a later model than 06, so it could be because it's got a, that nice fade going. Uh, you can see no pinholes, very clean. All right, we are done with the roof. Very, very good condition roof. Let's get back down and uh, finish our video. Before we'll go inside, I just wanted to show you this uh, nice outside entertainment. Um, it's got a little remote control, so you're sitting down on a table, uh, drinking a cold one or something. Also has an outlet for TV. Uh, nowadays, they have those suction cup. You could put a big 40, 50 inch TV uh, out here, but it does have a TV outlet. Uh, really nice feature. All right, let's go inside and look at this motorhome. You're gonna love it. It's smoke free, uh, odor free, very clean, nice motorhome. We've got electric step. Uh, by the way, uh, a previous dealership had just put new carpets in it. And this is where the batteries go. I'm gonna put two new uh, coach batteries there are kind of weak so we're going to put two new batteries there all right come on in very very nice motorhome here nice curved ceiling as you saw up on top very very nice solid fiberglass roof so no water leaks no water stains uh, a good used motorhome all right let's start in the front right here we got a 9,806 miles uh, very low miles we've got automatic electric leveling here all the walls are in good shape under the window. Um, dash seems to be in good shape. We've got a CD player, cassette player here. Um, workhorse chassis. So we've got a tel uh, tilt wheel. Allison automatic transmission. We've got a power mirrors. And they work. All right, that's good. Got a heated mirror part. Got a brake controller, if you want to tow a boat or tow car or whatever. Got some remote controls. Got a updated in insignia LCD TV. That didn't come with a factory. It probably had an old boob tube there, so they've changed it out. Uh, here you can put a satellite or VCR, DVD player, Blu-ray player, all that. Got a video distribution box here. A nice privacy curtain that goes around. Both of this chairs would uh, swivel around as you can look at it no no excessive wear or tear just uh you know 9800 miles 
but at the same time, some of the low miles coach people think they've been lived in it. This one do not show any sign of lived in motorhome. So it is a new carpet. That's a great plus. Uh, this uh, sofa opens up in a jackknife bed. Lots of cabinet space above booth dinette and a sofa. Uh, booth dinette obviously folds down in the bed. Uh, so it'll allow three to four people to sleep here. Uh, nice linoleum tile. Uh, you've seen some of my other videos. If you would like to have a hardwood floor throughout the coach, it'll cost about $2,500 to $3,000. You can have that done or you can do it yourself. There's a very, very small tear right here that I'm going to show you. So that's part of the bad ugly if you want to. Uh, if you don't like that uh, tear, uh, don't buy this motorhome. <laughs> I'm just being funny. Uh, there are people who would come in, man, they like the little tear. I said, no. Uh, it just comes with it. It's free. All right, we've got a microwave oven here, three burner gas stove. Very, very clean. Let's see if we can get clothes and we see the light. Very clean. I don't think they hardly cooked in it. No uh, stain of any cheese has burnt out on a uh, regular oven. It's not a Korean countertop. It's just a normal countertop, but in, they're in good shape. We've got dual sink. And I like this. It's got lots of pantry room in here. And lots of deep drawers. I mean, very, very deep drawers. Another drawer on the bottom right here. Another little counter space here. And uh, some more cabinets here. Some on top. And right here, you'd love this. It's got some sliding pantry. So you get the picture. Winnebago does a really good job trying to use every little space they have here. By the way, speaking of space, there are some storage under the booth dinette. Double door refrigerator, runs on LP gas or electric power and it works. We've already checked it out. Um, what we do, we go through the coach uh, and make sure everything is working fine before we turn the keys to you. So we, we, that includes the air conditioning system, water system, LP gas, all that. Uh, we're not gonna make it a brand new, but we'll make sure it's a camp ready. Medicine cabinet. Little sink here, got a glass enclosed shower. And I love this, no water stains. Just a, a good sign of a well kept, almost not used mud on with 9,800 miles. We've got a little privacy, uh, little curtain here. It gives you privacy in the center part of the coach. Uh, this is where the monitor panel is. Uh, by the way, it does have a water heater. It's 110 volts, so it does have electric heating. Uh, your monitor panel is here. Your thermostat is located right here. It does have a, I like the power line source of your generator, or when you're hooked up, it'll, it'll, it'll take care of all your amperages and try to run both airs. All right, so uh, over here we have a, Let's see, private toilet, and I'll tell you what, it's, I'm impressed with the good, good size. It's not like a, some of our really, really tight. You sit down here, and it's like, it's right here. I, I, I like this. It's a lot of space. Those people are six feet, they're tall or big people, you know, I like room. <laughs> All right, here, coming into the bedroom, we have a privacy door that slides. I like the solid door for the bedroom. All right, come on in the back. Lots of cabinet space. It does have a, a TV hookups. No TV in here. You can have one. Uh, go to H.H. H. Greg or Best Buy. Buy one for 100 bucks. They're not much. Little vanity mirror with the window in the front. Got another thermostat for your back roof air conditioner. So it's got two roof airs. Big coat closet. And light open. Light comes on when you open up. And we've got like nine drawers here. Well, let's see. Not nine, but six plus two, eight eight big drawers and look at this room in a bedroom gives you a lot of room uh, this back wall is a little bit curved I like that that's flavor really nice uh, some cabinet up, up, up above the queen size bed got small nightstand on both sides and there is some storage under bed you see it yep hey there's some extra blinds they go with it how about that nice bed I think I We've seen some mud home just abused, the repos mud home that I don't deal in, but this is a nice mattress. No mildews, nothing. It's just really nice. I like the part there is no odor in this mud home, no mildew odor, 
no cats or dogs, especially no cigarette smoke odor. So it's a very neutral odor motorhome. That is important. If you can do a, a scratch and sniff digitally, we'll, we'll be the first one to use. I can't say, I can show that in a video. So uh, there's two slide out, the kitchen slide and the galley slide or galley slide and the living room slide gives a plenty of room as you can see here. So some of those motorhome with the two slides, I like three, the more the better. So uh, this is a very nice motorhome, 9,800 miles. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get on the road and see how it drives so I can tell you how it drives. It drives really good. It just drove from uh, Columbia, Lexington area to Greenville, runs really good. Uh, thank you, let's get on the road. This 2006 Sightseer, let's, let's add that video they were talking about. We'll just put some gas in this thing and let's get on the road and uh, test drive it. Come on in, 9,807 miles. We drove about a mile here to get to the gas station. All right, so it's already running. Uh, I'll show you, very simple. By the way, air condition is cold. Could probably use a little, maybe a pound of a Freon. That's typical in this class A big motorhomes. You gotta add Freon about every year or so there. 134. So we'll probably add a little Freon. It runs, We've got a backup monitor. It's working. Uh, here, what we're going to do, we have just a little short drive in town and then we're going to take interstate and uh, see how it handles on the highway. By the way, it has only 45 hours on generator. I just uh, looked at it, 45 hours on a generator. Uh, what we'll do, we'll have oil change done in the engine and the uh, generator, we'll have it serviced for you with this low miles. Uh, We'll have all that thing serviced. So with the low miles, you get turnkey motorhome, service been done. We'll have air conditioning working really cold. Workhorse chassis has a great brake off and on. That button is about same as a, well, it, it, it mocks the diesel pushers exhaust brakes. Uh, it's not exactly the way it works, but it's, it's something better then uh, Ford chassis, they don't have that great brakes. With this Allison transmission, an 8.1 liter big V8, uh, this is a great, great combination. Uh, they don't make them, by the way, after 2010. Navistar owned them, and uh, they, don't, they discontinued workhorse chassis. All right, here we go. Get on the highway. 35. 40, 45, 50, I'm just not even, this accelerated land is downhill, so it's picking up speed itself as well. We're at 65, 64, 65 miles an hour. Going uphill, drives good. Steer pretty straight. Let's see, I'm gonna try the cruise control on here. Cruise on, cruise is on at about 70 miles an hour. Run smooth. With the 9,800 miles, it's got a 2012 date coat tires, I believe. Cause I did the outside video a few days ago, so I'm trying to memorize my own uh, you know, the, the, the facts and stuff outside. I, but the front two tires, you know, uh, if you wanted to change them, that's the only thing I would change if they're five years old. They're not bad. Uh, none of them had any uh, dry rotted cracks. So no worries here. I'm driving down in the traffic, keeping up with the traffic. Runs good, cruise works, air is working. Like I said, we just need a little bit of a Freon. Uh, jacks are working. We'll have it serviced, the oil and in a generator and uh, 45 hours, I mean, it, it, it probably, uh, that's a very, very low hours on on end generator. So let's sum up this motorhome. Triple slide, 34A Sightseer. So it's a 2006 Winnebago Sightseer, 34A, about 34 and a half feet long. Uh, rides on a workhorse chassis, very low miles, under 10,000 miles when you come pick it up. Uh, it will be serviced. 
um, everything be working. It will not be a new motorhome. It's a used motorhome, but a very low miles, nice motorhome. It'll be um, ready to go. So uh, give me a call. I prefer text communication. 864-404-0054. The number again is 864-404-0054. We take trades. If you have any trades, um, we help to get financing. Unless you're a member of any credit union or something, you can go through them. We'll give you purchase order. We're small dealer. We don't mark up any on your financing. You get good rates from a bank, and uh, we don't make any back-end money. We don't charge any dock fees, prep fees, or uh, any walk-through fees. Speaking of fees, there are, there are third-party inspection available if you'd like to have it done uh, for engine chassis and also for coach. There are a couple of guys I can share their phone numbers with you. They're third party, uh, uh, people with a good integrity. They'll give you their result if you'd like to do it. If not, we will give you mud home. It'll be a road and camp ready. Thanks for watching my long video and you have a blessed day. To add to it, I want to throw this into the video. Uh, we're going to check the brakes, but front two wheels, I'm going to have speed balance. I just, I just noticed a little bit of a shaking is not bad i mean look i'm driving 60 miles an hour it's fine but i drive a lot of modems and i do a lot of test drive so i noticed a little bit i'm gonna have when i get a service i'm gonna have a front two wheels speed balance and it would improve the ride 100 percent all right we're coming up to exit so i'm gonna test the brakes so brakes are smooth no pulsation it's it's stopping really good um uh, so here let's let's uh let's check the brakes really good here so brakes are doing good i just want to throw this at the end brakes are good and we'll get the tire balanced thanks again just wanted to throw this in